Hi everyone, welcome to Muse Themes. I'm Steve Harris. Today's tip is less about an issue that I'm seeing in support and more about just workflow and improving the speed at which you can build a site. Now, when I sit down and build these long single page sites with users, I see them making a common mistake. And let me show you what that mistake is. If I jump into Muse, and let me zoom out a little bit so we can see more on this page. Let's say they open up this template from Muse Themes and they wanna add something right here, right below this main hero image. 99% of users do this. They click and they highlight everything below that point. And once they're satisfied with it, then they'll click and they'll drag it all down, trying to keep it centered roughly in the same spot and they'll open up a gap so they can put in that new content. Well, fortunately, there's a much better way to do this. And believe it or not, it wasn't always in Muse. This is a tool that's relatively new to Muse and has only appeared in the last couple of years. It's called the Vertical Move Handle. So let me go ahead and undo that so that it's back up to the top. So again, I want to add some content right below this main hero image. Well, what you do to do this efficiently is click on the topmost item directly below where you want to add space. So in this case, I believe it's an accounting firm you can trust. And then this blue arrow over here, these two arrows, that's the vertical move handle. So what you can do then with that item selected is just click and drag it down. And what it's going to do is move everything below that point all the way down to the footer down so that it opens up a gap for you to put in your content. As you can see, much, much faster than clicking and dragging to select all. Now there's a couple other really cool things though that this handle can do that most people don't know. So let's say for example this uh, circle in quotes here was locked. So if I lock it like that by right clicking on it and selecting lock, now I can't even click on it on the canvas. And if I use the vertical move handle here, you'll see that it doesn't move. So items that are locked do not move by default when using the vertical move handle. Well if you hold down shift as you drag this handle, so I'm just holding shift and then I drag it, it does also move locked and hidden items as well. So that's just a little tip to be able to move those locked or hidden items in case you do want to open up a gap and keep them all together. Now the last tip with this handle, and this is something that almost nobody I've worked with in Muse knew, is let's say you just want to highlight everything below a certain point, but you don't want to move it. So in this case, well, you're probably just going to have to do the highlight everything kind of drag approach. Actually, what you can do again is click on the topmost item, Go over to the vertical move handle and double click on it. So double click that handle. And what that does is it highlights everything below that point. So then what you could do is move it around. You could actually move it up if you wanted, whatever you wanna do. So this vertical move handle has a ton of unique options, lots of things people don't know that it does. And it's the most efficient way for you to work with a long single page site and open up gaps so you can add in your content. Enjoy, cheers.